All right, today we're gonna be talking about the Sturm and the Drain for today. So, uh, to be honest with you, Sturm and Drain, uh, they're a nice, powerful couple, you know, power couple, you know, one wears the pants more than the other. Mostly it's Drain because um, in PvE content, uh, Drain gives uh, Sturm the ability to overflow its magazine and those overflowed bullets uh do increase damage i don't know the percentage but it's a, it's a measly good amount um uh, when back in vanilla d2 this was definitely i can see the concept where you would clear ads with drain since we're in adult primary meta you clear out ads with drain then you'll use dps with sturm because well sturm got overcharged bullets and after that then you just swap to your heavy or whatever but um does it hold up to today i would say you no know, i mean it's definitely an interesting like duo to use and i would say pve content definitely can handle um some major bars um and for bosses it's not ideal like i, I had to say is um if you're not fighting a piece of paper boss uh, the Sturm and Drain combo doesn't perform very well. Um, now, Sturm itself performs actually well in PvP, which because of its stats and the current meta being 120s and 140s and what else, uh, else is there, um, like the Sturm actually performs actually strong in PvP. And if you know how to work a sidearm, which I'm, I have no clue how to use sidearms in, or at least the Drain, in PvP because the recoil direction it just it makes me just not even realize where I'm shooting at. So it's for that for PvP and PvE, it has its own respected sides. For PvE, it's gonna need drain to like let it even stand alone in PvE content. And for PvP, this gun like performs, but if you're running it, it really a uh, best way to describe it is like a, a skill curve with a with Drain uh, in PvP. So if you're running Sturm and Drain in PvP, it's just, it's not really worth it. Unless, like, like I said, skill curve, and you're really good at that. Now, Sturm as a standalone hand cannon in PvP actually performs um, the best it can as a 120. It doesn't have any damage perks that Drain can allow it to have. So in that time being it's just an overall good starter 120 including with the catalyst giving it increased handling and at least stability so it, it's it's not a bad hand cannon a standalone it's just if you're expecting it to do well in other content like pve content definitely if you went back in time where double primary was kind of the more of the meta back then it's definitely a good uh thing to go after for it. though uh, Sturm wasn't looked down upon due to it was a low uh, fire rate weapon back in vanilla D2. Like it was used, but it wasn't used to like a high extent because it was outclassed by many other exotics that were just good. But it definitely wasn't a bad idea to run. And to this day, it's it's if you want to have fun, it's definitely a nice little gimmick to run in uh, PVE. I would say this gun is really just a gimmick. Would I say this gun's good? No, it only it only shines in PvP, and it's still outclassed in PvP today. There's a legendary hand cannons that are outclassing this exotic. So until Bungie gives this uh this weapon like a catalyst boost or something like that, um, this gun fucking sucks. So yeah, that's Sturm and Drink or Sturm mostly, but yeah. <laughs>